Hey, this your girl Earl from Embrace and Reborn, and we have with us the D, little Miss Reva Grease. And I'm going to get Reva dressed for theme Thursday. Reva is the Reva prototype, sculpted by Lillian Briefo, um, painted and completed by Claire Taylor. And what we're going to put her on today, I just felt like dressing Reva. Because I forget, I haven't done a um, Sunday mass in a while, so I said, well, for some reason on Sundays, I always seem to be sleeping in late. So with that being said, I'm going to put Reva on um, this little dress here. It's a size newborn. It's by um, Ch Cherokee. And it has two ruffles. It's a, um, like a satin material. And it's a yellow and white jacket. With a bait, uh, with the yellow um, ribbon goes around the bodice, with a white satin um, rose in the front, accented with yellow in the center, and two sage green leaves, and each ruffle, and then it also has like the little petticoat, little slip belt in the dress as well. So you got one, two, three, four little layers <laughs> of ruffles, and that's what I'm gonna put Reva on today. We put her on a little, and I'm, I don't know what happened to the diaper bottom to go to that dress, so I got this little Carter's newborn one that goes to one of her other dresses, and I'm going to pair it with that today. Because even though, you know, sometimes I keep thinking, do I need to find Reva some preemie low diaper covers? Now, this is a smaller Carter's one, so this one might fit her pretty good, because Carter's always fit her nice. But I'm going to tell you, some of them other brands, and see there, the, even this one falling down, the last gets so be so big. Oh, Lord, Reva and her little narrow self. But she is a newborn. She's not a preemie. And she weighs seven pounds. But she just a small newborn. She on the little narrow side. Unlike her little cousin, um, oh, Lord, she got lunch on her front. You know what? <laughs> they had to spray Reva chest, but I can't stand seeing the lunch on her. But um, her cousin, um, Cupcake Bella and Layla, they on the little chubbier newborn size, which I just love seeing low fat rolls and the fat legs. But I'm going to tell you, all the baby, like I was just, I was on, I only weighed, kind of think of it, Reva weighed more than me when I was born. Reva seven pounds and some ounces. I was six pounds, one ounce. And even all my nieces and nephews, I think the largest one might have been seven pounds. The smallest one was four pounds. But oh, all the babies in, in my immediate family had the little legs, just like Reva. You know, these, you know, were the, the size of the legs were at birth. Even though I just start reborn in, in um, March, I just took a reborn class back in March from, um, Lasting Memories um, Reborn Nursery, um, Deborah C. Jaddick off of Facebook, or you can um, Google her nursery, Lasting Memories. Um, I can't wait, like I know I can't paint like no clear tailor, but when I do get a, a breastplate, I swear I'm a pull, put that breast, put Lay Reva out naked and try to get the same colorations the way Claire got the colors in Reva. Like, you can see all the blues and the yellows and the reds. You know, I can see. And I love Reva little um, belly stump. It's just the cutest little belly. Let me see something with Reva in the frame. Pull Reva up so y'all can probably see the colors a little bit better. See, see one thing. This, color, this thing here don't never show the colors. Like, my phone... Shows the colors real good. Look at Reva Lode belly button. Isn't that the cutest little navel stump there? I just love it. But anyway, let's get Reva dressed. And see, like, when I, I record off this Samsung um, Galaxy E tablet, which I'm recording on now, the colors never show up on my kits or my um, Reborns. Like, you can see all the colors and things. You can't see none of that right now. When even when I pull Reva up close, you couldn't see it. But on, hold up, where's her mitts? 
but when I use my um the, my Samsung Galaxy phone, the colors come up really, really nice. You can see all the colors. Let me put Reva hand in these little carter mix. Because I always be careful scared with the open hand. Anybody who got a silicone doll with the open hand, I know y'all feel what I'm talking about. Because, um, like I say, I want another full body silicone. But I swear, I want both fists ball up. <laughs> if I can help it, you know. But so far, um, far as silicones that I've purchased, the only thing that I got, like Reva and Canela Cam, the Sam D from Clear Taylor, and then I had the Raven Scout, which was by Lorna Muller Sand, which I thought was, she was absolutely beautiful. Um, she was just too heavy for me. Oh my goodness, I know I just heard a door close. And I pray that's the neighbor, not mom and daddy coming back. I was trying to get through all these videos before they get back in this house. So they can stir all the dogs up when they come to that door. Maybe you don't want your passy. And I didn't bring her jail to put the passy in good. And I'm going to put Reeve on these ruffle socks since the dress ruffle. We figure just take the ruffles to a whole another level. Bohemian doll love, I know you can say something, but me and my ruffles and froze. <laughs> every time, now and every time I do frozen ruffles, and I try to die down and be doing casual clothes for a good while. Y'all got to give me credit. I have died down because if it was up to me, every time Reva come on here, she'd be on the church dress because I got just that many of them for her. But I just love having the dolls looking like Easter all the time. And I had some creamy yellow socks to go with this, this dress. To put her on her white patent shoes. Which are these by Koala Baby. These are size zero. But since she putting on white lace socks, which I know these ones going to be a little big, but I'm going to put these on her anyway. And these are the little soft ruffle crib shoes with the three rosettes and um, the ruffles and everything. But it's the perfect yellow as the same way the, sh the material and the dress is satin, the, the, the shoes are satin as well. And since I can't find the yellow socks, I'm going to put these socks on. But now, and I hope I can find the scissors I had on this table to cut these shoes apart. Because like I say, when I take my dolls, when I take shoes off my dolls, which I need to start doing it to the outfits as well, I always put a zip tie back on the shoes to keep up with the shoes. And I had that time thing sitting up here. Just one second. Okay, and I had the cotton sitting up here from the last video, and somebody, I moved my bag of cotton. You know what? Let me see if I can stuff it with these a little bit of um, thing, because I like to stuff the tools with something so that her shoes don't fall off. But like I say, I know these shoes are too big for her, but we can put them on her anyway. You just... Like I said, you got shoes a little too big for your dolls. When you do, you stuff the tools with cotton, a tissue, a plastic bag, whatever. <laughs> you got it close by. And then put the shoes on the BB. And if not, and see, like me, I just took a little plastic bag that's now a little bit of pla piece of plastic and stuck in there. And if you don't have the, um, none of that you can also wrap the fit prior to putting on um socks wrap the fit with tissue paper to make the fit fatter and bigger 
then put the socks on, then put the shoes on. I've done it that way as well. You know, it's always a way to skin the cat now. And y'all know if I find any little hacks, <laughs> I always like to share with my other artists or uh, other reborn mommies out there who have that problem. Whereas me, we got two once upon a child here. Because that's why I got these shoes as well as this dress from, um, and I knew I just pulled a tag off that dress. I think that dress was, I want to believe, I can't, I don't even know. I, see, new blowing, one piece right here. I only paid $4.50 for this dress. So, just because you... Um, got newborn dolls and things. You don't have to pay out a whole. I didn't know. Rather, do, no, I don't want to do the cream. I can. Another pack of headbands sitting up here. And as usual, because I took these out, these are the, that's too dark. These are the, um, you get the headbands and the fitness sandals. The sets right off of eBay. Let me see. No. Mm hmm Oh, I think the dark one. And I also had these little ribbons, these little bowls here. And you get a pack of these here from Once Upon a Child. And they were $1.99. And I had the yellows and them as well. But I think I'm going to just do the hairband to make it quicker. Because I know I ramble on a lot with this video. Now that is just too super cute. Let me brush a brief a little baby here. You know what thing? Hold up. Let me brush a brief here a little bit better than this here. Let me wet her here. And you know, Erica put them out on me and Brosia doll. How all I she said when you start painting, you really don't be having time to do videos. And I could tell y'all, I've been painting a lot, and I, which I really enjoy. And I have several dolls that's completed painted because it only take me two days to paint a doll. It takes me longer to root the doll. Preemie heads I root in two days. But newborn and bigger heads take me a little bit longer. Reba look good even without a headband, I tell you the truth. I mean the hair. Well, the hair did everything overall. But you know, I don't want to sound like a parent just bragging up about their child. But you know, everybody think their child is the prettiest. But I'm going to tell you, I really love me some Reva. And that's the one thing I wanted to get to the hair to the I keep saying hair show, the doll show for. Because I really wanted somebody to pierce Reva ears. But I might have to just step out on faith and pierce them myself. But... I so scared of splitting my silicone ears. I don't know what else to do. Now, mom always pays all my reborn ears for me. And you would think I wouldn't be so scaredy cat, but I am. Let me pick Reva up. And you have to support Reva head. Because Reva head is heavy. And this is her little outfit. Oops. Let me, um. Look at the shoes. <laughs> and the little diaper bottom. And her little ruffly dress. I just wanted to show y'all. <clears throat> Reba looks so cute in this. Let me pull it back so y'all can get a full understanding. It means I can turn her around. So you can see her a little bit better. And here we have it. Little Reva Grace. Dress for theme Thursday. 
and yet another yellow theme there. And I just, like I said, I just wanted to get a little bit frillier with her today. So we put her on her little ruffles and frozen lace. <laughs> but anyway, this your girl Earl Reva Grace. If you enjoy my videos or are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Hit the bell if you want to be notified anytime I put up a video. One time I used to put videos up every other day. And I'm trying to do it at least once or twice a week now. And like I say, I do show Reva and Canela the most because I just feel out of all my babies, they are the more realistic one. And two, they are the silicon dolls. But I have several in my collection. And I've had people on Instagram, you know, and if you don't follow me, go to Instagram and follow me. Because anytime I do a video, I take close-up pictures of the, all the kids and what they're wearing. And I place those pictures on Instagram. So go follow us on Instagram. It's Embracing Rebonds All Together. Um, but like I say... Um, I just don't do as much with the rebonds. I'm doing, I'm trying to do a little bit more because people have been requesting to see some of them and it's been a while since I've been showing them. So I'm trying to do better. But if you want to see a particular one, please comment down below, put that down below and I'll be trying to, um, meet your request by bringing them on in the next video. But once again, it's your girl Earl Reva Grace and thanks for watching.